Hello, my name is Mark from JazzGuitarLessons.net and today we're going to look at pentatonic scales. I'm really excited to be uh, doing this mini-series. So it's going to be a blog post, blog posts, shall I say, and a video series in which we will start from nothing, say, you know, what is a pentatonic scale, uh, how to practice it on the fretboard physically, how to use patterns, and then how to apply this in jazz improvisation. And you'll see that there are very fun and intricate ways to apply the pentatonic scales. So let's get started right away. The first thing is, uh, okay, what is pentatonic and why do we call it pentatonic? Uh, a lot of people think that uh, pentatonics are, say, a mode from the major scale or that they represent some sort of odd thing that's built from something else, but it's not. Simply penta, pentatonics means five. I mean, penta means five. So any scale that has five notes is a pentatonic scale in the end. So what we will do here is really build from scratch from what is common and the most common pentatonic scale is built from the major scale. So let's look here at the fretboard at the C major scale, as you can also read in the blog post. Um, you can see that on the website or you can, you're probably already familiar with the major scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, right? Or you could be playing it in open C, or you could play in any physical position that you'd like. Uh, if you know your theory a little bit, you'll understand that there are half steps here. This is a half step between E and F, and there's a half step between B and C. So if we look at the two treble notes, they create this interval of a tritone. And this interval of a tritone has the resolution, has a required resolution to go here. Right? This is, would be G7 to C, or the 5-1 classical resolution. The pentatonic scale is simply taking those treble sum guys, like taking the treble notes out of the scale. So if you take the notes F and B out of the C major scale, you're left with this. And this is the C major pentatonic scale. That's it, that's all. There's nothing else to it. This is where pentatonic scales come from. And there's a, a physical explanation to it um, in terms of the harmonic series, which I won't get into the science of it right now. It doesn't really matter. So keep in mind, you take your major scale, you remove the notes uh, F and B. So in general, if we speak a formula, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you remove four and seven, and you have the pentatonic scale like this. Cool, that's it. Now, furthermore, if you've been playing guitar or especially blues and rock and roll, You've probably heard of the minor pentatonic and this type of stuff you might have not played. What you probably already played is this. You know? This type of pentatonic box. And this is the minor pentatonic. So I don't know exactly why uh, usually musicians will refer to the minor pentatonics instead of referring to the major pentatonics. Uh, so if you get a book on pentatonics, they will use a minor. So instead of fighting the system, which I say in the, in the blog post, which I did for a while, I was fighting the system, is always thinking in major pentatonic, we'll just think in minor pentatonics, everything that we do. So what we have to do now is take the C major pentatonic that we built, sorry, here, and we will simply start it from the A note. Here. And that's it. Okay. So, uh, b b don't worry, there'll be tabs and lessons coming along. You'll see, uh, I'll show you all the fingerings and everything. But for now, this is just a gentle introduction to let you know what it is, basically. It's five notes, but why and how. So we have A minor pentatonic, which can be th thought of as, well, it's a minor scale in which we remove the degrees two and six. So if this would have been your minor scale, you remove two, you move six, this again and you got it. Okay, so if you know just this pentatonic, the major or the minor, they're the same thing is something I, I really want to get the point across that major or minor, it's relative, it's related, so same notes, different order, doesn't really matter. So if you know this one pentatonic, you can really go a long way in terms of jazz improvisation and ideas and blues, of course, but also more modern applications. So what we will do now is learn just one other pentatonic 
that will be used throughout the series uh, of articles on, on pentatonics. It's very simple and you'll see the relationship to perhaps the other videos I, I posted recently, uh, the one link you should know, the, or the other link you should know, and it, we will do this in G major. A minor 7 to D7. If we would look at A minor pentatonic here, and just lower one note, we would take the G note, this one, down here. Okay. We would get something that we can say it's D7 pentatonic. So this is the other pentatonic, A minor, and then D7 or A. Well, A minor 6, but... And if we started from a D note, it sounds like this. Right? So, just from that, there's already a 2-5 resolution implied within the materials that we're learning. So, to, to wrap things up, all you need to know is the minor pentatonic, say A minor pentatonic, and the D7, the, that is the uh, assorted pentatonic, the one that matches with uh, A minor, or some people call it A minor 6 because you take the 7th, you put it down to the 6th. I'm, I'm not sure, I don't really like this type of spelling using the 6th, but uh, whatever, whatever floats your boat. If you think of the 6th and it works for you in your mind, that's good. So to wrap up, and you can read this in the article, uh, your mission or an idea that you may, you may want to look at is, can you really spell your, your 251 in all keys? Because if you can, you will be able to to play all the pentatonic. So A minor seven to D seven. This is your two five in G major. If you can do the same with C minor seven to, to F seven. C minor seven to F F. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> My lost. Oh yeah, here. Sorry guys. So C. F7, C minor, F7, then uh, as you can read in the article, you have 12 keys that you should be working on. So all the while working on different pentatonics, you can memorize your 2-5 uh, spellings. That, that would be a good thing to do. All right, so I'll let you go on this. This was your short introduction. In the next part, in part two, we will look at the five positions for the minor, A minor 7 pentatonic and the D7 pentatonic throughout your fretboard. So we'll use the cage system and other methods to get you playing this stuff. All right, so I'm Mark from jazzguitarlessons.net, improve your jazz guitar playing with a real teacher, and I'll see you in the next uh, instance of this pentatonic series. Take care.